Pierre Basson is South Africa's first documented serial killer. He was known as being a particularly sadistic child. When he was 12 years old, he attacked another child with a knife. He also enjoyed hurting animals and watching them suffer. He would catch birds and kill them. He would also cut the feet of cats just to watch them suffer. He would kill people for money. His technique was actually very simple. He would lend money to people and have them name him as the beneficiary on their life insurance policies. This means that if those people died, he would get the money. He would then go on to kill those people and collect on what was paid. His first victim was his own brother who he claimed drowned on a fishing trip. Between 1903 and 1906, he would go on to kill eight people. This brought the number of his victims to nine, many of which was buried in his own backyard. When the police uncovered one of his victims, he took his own life in order to not go to jail. His last words to his mother was, I'm going to the police. I did not do anything wrong. Before I go on, I recently checked my analytics and found that over 80% of the people who regularly watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button to see my content as soon as it's uploaded. Moses Satole is a serial killer who has earned the name the ABC Killer. This is because he started a killing spree that went through three separate locations. Those locations being Atteridgeville, Boxburg and Cleveland Johannesburg. Other notable names he was called by is the South African Strangler and the Kauteng Killer. His murder spree lasted for less than a year. However, in that time, he killed 38 people, although the speculation suggests that the real number may be approximately 76 people. At the time of the murders, he worked at an organization that was against human abuse. However, it's been reported that he would sometimes phone the families of his victims just to taunt them. At one point, the then president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, visited Boxburg to ask for the public's help in catching him. Satole often lured his victims by getting them to interview for positions at his organization. He would then take them to remote locations where he would rape and murder them. He was eventually caught after he contacted a reporter and confessed to his crimes. When he was cornered by police, he tried to attack one of them with a hatchet. He was shot, however he survived and is now serving over 2,000 years in prison, a sentence that he will never finish. Elafasi Msomi is a South African serial killer who has claimed that he was being controlled by Tokoloshi. He originally tried to be a Sangoma but failed. After consulting another Sangoma about his problems, he was taken control of by Tokoloshi. Msomi then started an 18-month killing spree, during which he would earn the title of the Axe Murderer. During this killing spree, he was caught by the police on two occasions. However, he escaped both times. He claimed that his escape was aided by the Tokoloshi. He killed 15 people while being led by the Tokoloshi. This number includes multiple children. He was finally caught by the police for petty theft after he and the Tokoloshi had parted ways. Psychologists who studied Msomi during his trial claimed that he was of a much higher intelligence than the average person and that he gained pleasure from causing pain. On February 10th, 1956, he was hung for his crimes Nine Zulu chiefs and elders attended the hanging to make sure that the Tokoloshi would not save him. Even though it didn't, some of the elders expressed concerns that he would one day return as a Tokoloshi himself. Thank you for watching. 
If you like this video, then please hit the subscribe button as I have more content coming your way. And if you have any suggestions or comments, then please leave them down below. Until next time, this is Darklight, signing off.